Hey, hobbyists. Around this time last year, I was working on my very own Linux distribution called Hobby Linux. I haven't mentioned Hobby in quite a while, almost a year to be precise, and people have been asking about it lately, so it seems like a good time to bring it back up. But first, let me tell you the game I'm playing. Well, from the graphics, it should be obvious. It's Daggerfall in Unity. This is a fantastic remastered classic, and I've been streaming it a lot on Twitch, which has been great since there's a really good community there that likes watching people play it. I'm playing the character that I leveled in the stream to showcase some interesting locations and features in the background because it is a pretty tough game. And I'm playing it with the Dream mod, so that's why everything looks really high def, and several other mods that add distant textures, new weapons, and armor, and monsters. So what is Hobby Linux? Let me tell you about it. I started the project as just kind of a concept last year during a period of job searching when I had extra time on my hands. It was just a development project. I didn't even create a website or anything like that for it. It's on GitHub under EGIO, but there's not like a website. The idea I had for it is pretty straightforward. Create a Linux distribution so that it looks good on my resume and potentially grow into something bigger. And I've got the YouTube channel, so it seemed like a good fit. And like I said, things moved really fast. I'm pretty good at this stuff, so I whipped together an installer in Ruby, published it on GitHub, and started working on the desktop. But that's where I ran into issues, specifically with Dbus. I just don't know this stuff very well, so it was taking a lot of time churning through it. It honestly humbled me, and it gave me a lot of respect for distro maintainers that already know this stuff. It's hard. But anyway, the interesting part is that right around that time, when I created the installer and started fighting with the desktop, I landed a consultant gig. And I've been there ever since, so that's great for my career, but less good for hobby. And a funny twist about the whole story, I ended up going back to Arch Linux, which is where I started my hobby journey in the first place. So in a way, the computer I'm using right now, the one that I'm playing Daggerfall on, the one that I'm editing this voiceover and stuff on, is Hobby Linux. So I mentioned Arch because the last thing I mentioned about Hobby Linux on the channel was that I was frustrated with Arch and I was moving away from it. I made a video or two talking about that, but I moved on to OpenSUSE, thinking that maybe that would be a good base. Now, OpenSUSE is actually where I started this channel on. It was the first Linux distribution that I made a video about or on or anything like that. But unfortunately, it's changed a lot, and it is just not what I'm looking for. Not Factory, not Tumbleweed, not Leap. I'm not even sure what it is anymore, but it's not for me. So I looked around, I looked around, and what did I find? I found Arch Linux, again. And despite my gripes about it before, it is honestly exactly what I'm looking for. I used the install script that I wrote for Hobby Linux, and weirdly enough, those hardware issues that I talked about in my gripes video never came back, so maybe I installed something wrong. So now that you know that this is basically Hobby Linux, let me show it to you. If you caught my Distro Delve stream last month, this probably looks familiar, and yes, I do still do those, all you have to do is ask for them. What we're looking at right now is Arch Linux, basically. It's the KDE desktop, though sometimes I do long for GNOME. And you know what? I've been here for, geez, that's got to be about a year now. No, because I spent some time on OpenSUSE, it's probably been nine months. And this desktop, this install, has been perfect. Not a single issue with it. And a cool thing about Arch Linux and why Hobby Linux is the concept of it is such a good fit, or Arch Linux is a good fit for Hobby, whatever, is it's really your own custom machine. That was kind of my idea for Hobby in the first place. My particular setup is pretty unique. I use XFS as the only file system on the system, LTS kernel instead of Zen or any of that business, and I use Lamine for the bootloader instead of Grub or SystemD boot seems to be the popular one now. And you might notice the name Rock in my terminals sometimes. It actually has a funny story. The name or word Rock comes from Arabian mythology. Rock is a massive bird, similar to a griffin or even the prehistoric Argentavis. But I chose that name for my laptop because this laptop is actually an Asus Republic of Gamers machine, and ROG sounds kind of silly to me, so I called it ROC. And the V6 means version 6. That's the sixth install I've done to this machine, and the sixth version was installed using the Hobby Linux installer. Now, if I were to return to Hobby, I'd really need a dedicated laptop or development PC, something. Since I'm working now, I can't just risk my workstation crashing or going down due to distro development. But in all honesty, my interest in a project like that has just faded since starting my job. The work that I do is really interesting, and the people I work with I really like, and I've just become more selective about what I spend my time on anymore. Lately, I've been spending a lot of my tech time on website stuff. I've got EGXYZ, EGIO, and 
other service providers that I work with is just, it's not fun, but it's necessary. But while I've moved away from Linux distro development, I'm still passionate about another aspect of tech that isn't web development, and that's game development. Some of you might remember that I teased an EG game prototype a while back on the channel. Now, I actually released it on itch.io, though I'll admit I'm not the best at promoting my own projects, so you probably didn't even know about it. It's not much, though. It's just a small experimental prototype that explores what an EG game could be if it was a side-scroller. And you can follow this project and others on my Discord server. It used to be called EG's Hobby Shop, but now it's just called EG's Discord server. But it's where you'll find all my latest updates and announcements and stuff like that, and I like seeing what other people are creating too, so you can post pictures of your game or whatever you're working on in the Hobby Share channels. And if you're interested in behind the scenes content, Discord subscribers get access to early access channels where you can preview upcoming videos and stuff. And it really helps me out too when people subscribe. So to summarize this whole shebang, while developing Hobby Linux, it ultimately led me back to Arch Linux, which ultimately ended up being exactly what I needed. And honestly, I should say that this whole journey has helped revitalize my creative energy because I'm not focusing on other distros or what desktop is best or whatever. I haven't even thought about any of that. Now I just kind of sit here and do my own thing, and if I feel like making a video like this one, I'll just kind of sit down and do it. It's nice, I haven't felt like this in quite a while, honestly. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Consider supporting the channel through channel memberships or the aforementioned Discord subscription. Get some exclusive perks. If you like relaxing sounds and ASMR, I actually still do that. I've just moved it to my website, eg.xyz, and I'm also on Spotify if you look me up there. I appreciate all your support, and thanks for watching.